Good evening, YouTube. This is your girl, Miss Sasha LaRue, coming to you live and direct from the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. Ding. Well, uh, it is raining here in the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, and I'm not very happy about it, but I kind of like the rain. Um, I'm just getting in from work. Um, did dinner for the family. I even clipped some toenails, y'all. And no, not mine. And no, not a little cute little baby's toes. A old rusty, dusty man's toes. And you know that's got to be love. It's got to be something or rights to a 401k down the road. <laughs> I kid. Anyway, yeah. You know, I had to do the wifely duties and cut toenails. Um... But it's okay. It's a it's a good trade off. Uh, I have an NSV, and uh, as a result of the squatathon, um, my booty. I was just walking back, um, getting my husband set up in the back because he's not feeling too good. Hopefully, it's not in this these crazy bugs that are running around with the flu and the stomach virus. Something about his um, ear having some fluid issues on there. So, fed him, put him to bed. Yeah, I know, it's 6.30, but he's got to get up real early in the morning and go to work. Um, so anyway, uh, as I was walking back there with him, um, and I was dropping some stuff off in the room, um, he was behind me. So he goes, he says, well, you know, your butt is um, uh, coming down like it's, I said, what do you mean? He said, it's like forming, it's like getting rounder, and it's, it's forming into the butt. Oh, my God. Do you know when I was younger, a few years ago, mother has lived, and um, I remember an ex-boyfriend of mine, who, well, ex now, but then boyfriend, girlfriend, he always said I had an onion butt. Now, see, my body shape is not curvaceous, you know, Pam Greerish. you know, I just have personality. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I never really had like that shape, shape. I don't know. Just missed me. Wasn't in our genes. I don't think anybody in my family really has like the va 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 voom. You know, you have the family in in your neighborhood who's all the sisters in there are slam and bamming. No, I had brothers. I was the only girl, and basically turned into a tomboy for a little while. And um, I don't know. I just I didn't get that part. But I guess I just got personality. Um, but I see that things are changing, curving, um, almost like sculpting. Now, I've been heavy for some years. I was heavy for, mm, I've been in the 200s well since tw 20, um, 28, 20. Seven ish, six ish, something like yeah, definitely like 205 or something like that. And that's going back into the 90s. I'm 46 years old now, so that's like 20 years that I have been, <clears throat> I guess, as they would classify overweight, obese. Um, um, and then I guess before I had the surgery, I was up to the point where they would consider it morbidly obese. Oh, so ugly. They just use such ugly words. But it is what it is. What is what it was. Um, but, yeah, and it's just it's different now. I don't know if it's because of the age, my age. Um, when we get to a certain age, uh, when we come down, we, you know, we kind of mold. Maybe if had I not gotten heavy back then in my 20s, um, I would have shaped out and formed, you know, because you, you, you don't really get your woman on and marinate in it until you get to a certain age. Some women are just born with it though. They just had the luscious from the tour. But that's okay, some of us grew into it. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was a nice NSV. Uh, to see. And I said, well baby, I said, that's because of the squatathon. The squatathon is gonna make that booty pop like that. He's like, yeah, whatever, and crawls into bed. So. Um, my plans were to go to the gym today, but since it's raining so horribly, um, I'm going to do my workout at home, and I'm going to give you a tour of my gym at home.
Come with me. All right. So, we have, and hopefully I don't take this cord out. Let me show you the weight room. Can you see that? This is the weight room. This is my kettlebell, 15 pounder and a 25 pounder. Then these are my 10 pound weights. This is the weight room. Six pound weights and my bit, I mean, my, oh Lord, and my uh, little, I don't know what I'm doing weights. That don't matter. I don't use them. And then we have, let me show you the cardio room where all the magic happens. Right here. That's it. That's my pad. And that's the gym room. Okay, we're back. And that completes our tour of Miss Sasha Rue Gold's Gym. <laughs> um, so, oh, oh. See, I gotta be careful because if my cord comes out of my um, laptop, it um, shuts the whole computer down because it sucks. Get back into the lights because it gets dark. So I'm gonna do my um, workout here. Um, great things that are on the TV to do it. Plus, I gotta do my 65 squats. I haven't done them yet. Um, and then I'm gonna probably do some kind. I don't know. Probably. Mm, maybe I search YouTube and find a nice little workout for about 30 minutes and then um, do a little, I guess, maybe a circuit trend. I don't know. But it's amazing what you can do in such a little space. I have a very small, I have downgraded, downsized um, about one, two, two times in the last 10 years. So now that my son, he's in a, a Catholic school here in Philadelphia and Anyone who knows about cat schools is quite expensive, um, but it's a good investment um, for a good, a decent education. Um, so it does cost a little bit of money. So I had to make sure I got down to where um, we could comfortably do it, live, um, and not struggle so hard because we struggled a lot of times in the past. But since then, um, a lot of things have gotten a lot better. Um, we, you all know that um, financial problems can cause a lot of woes, but, you know, I, I don't know if it's the surgery or just um, coming into a new level of my life um, emotionally, but I think I, I'm going through a change um, that is making me a better person. And, some, and, and to get to that point, that part, um, and that level, I should say, you go through a little growing pains. And sometimes those growing pains, it's like a, a tooth that's pushing the old one out. It breaks skin and it hurts. And you got to get through it. A lot of things have happened um, that's changed the course. Well, it's not changed my course. It's God's course anyway. So I'm just kind of like following his, his, um, his path for me. And I've bumped my head along the way, but it's all good. And um, I'm becoming this person that um, I'm really enjoying. Um, confidence has come, and you know you just feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, um, it's easier to be good to other people. I've never been bad to people or anything like that. I'm saying now that when I do give, I'm giving, and I still have some left. You feel me? And um, so with that um, comes a lot of joy and comes a lot of peace. It also comes a little bit of a sorrow. I don't know if, um, if PMS got me yesterday and today, but I had a bad two last 48 hours. Um, and just sometimes in my mind of uh, just dealing with things and coming to terms with stuff and actually giving up um, the love affair with food and, you know, realizing that, you know, I've given food a little bit too much power over me um, and my daily thought. I, it should not be that way. You know what I'm saying? It should not be that. And that's kind of how I was, you know, my approach to that damn scale. 
and I don't want to be a slave to anybody. I don't want to to go through that stress. You know what I mean? And I don't want to worry about every damn thing I'm putting in my freaking mouth. I don't. I just want this thing. I just want to live healthy, eat healthy, enjoy my food, and use it as fuel. And then you know, I I don't want all this with that comes along with it. I'm losing weight. It's coming off. I average 10 pounds a month. Now, I don't know what, I don't know, I went back on all my, because um, when I document my weight, I put it down in my, um, you know, my little notepad thing. And um, I just went down and I just added everything up. And, you know, it, it really comes out to be 10, 10 pounds a month. I don't care if it was just one pound on, you know, week one of the month and nothing the next, but it, somehow, some way, I averaged that out. I am mad at that, that's pretty good. I can do that, you know, that's six more months now, by the summertime, I'm gonna be really good. That'll give me time to not worry about too much of the, um, the loose skin that's sure to come. Um, maybe I can combat it by putting some weights to my arms and going hard on it. Quick and hard, quick and hard, you know. Um, with the weights, quick and hard. I think you get the best results quick and hard. Northern Southerner said the same thing, and he, you know, he's told y'all, look, he only does 30 minutes, he ain't giving it no more, and he's a beast, right? So, you don't really need that, and, you know, need a whole bunch of hour of the, of the, the weight lifting and stuff like that. Weight lift hard, punch it hard for a half hour, and you're good. Now, the rest of that other half hour, another part of the hour, because I do an hour, too. I work out with weights. I only give it, like, 30 minutes hard, and then the rest is, like, some form of cardio. Um, and that's what's been working for me thus far. Later on, I do want to graduate um, to be able to do, like, that PX90 that um, Raquel's doing. Um, she's conditioned very well to do it because she's been dedicated um, to her grind. You know, so she, she's in it. So when I get to where she's at, oh, you best believe PX90 is going to be somewhere in my life. And I'll be right here talking to y'all <gasps> and dying. But um, and she's showing us that it can be done. And just, you know, we keep our eye out on all all our um, classmates here. And you watch and see what they do. And, and just imagine that being you soon. And you'll be kicking and rocking it out also. I And me, I, I think I'm going through stages. I'm, I'm really digging the at-home thing, though. But I do like to get away and leave home and go to um, to the gym. Something about it just relaxes my mind. And, you know, everybody um, who goes there, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't really want much today. I just wanted to come and say hello. Um, I'm going to get myself together here now and and um, get ready to work out probably about 7.30. Um, uh, no, yeah, 7.30. Or I might even have to wait till 8 o'clock because I do want to watch Steve Harvey's Family Feud. So that's about it. I just wanted to say hello real quick and give you guys an update. Um, on my status, uh, the squadathon is going good tonight. Sixty-five. Everyone's been doing great. I see everybody's uh, posts on Facebook, or if we're in the group uh, room together, the videos here on YouTube. Uh, I see you guys putting your work. Like I said, on the thirty-first, we're going to do a drawing. Um, I have a list of all the people, and I have it on my notepad. You know, and then what I'll, you know what, I'm going to have to probably put it on something else. Because God forbid something happens to my phone. But I do have where, you know, your videos where you guys signed up. But I got a list of probably about close to 40 names or more of um, everyone who signed up and not signed up, but, you know, said that they were doing it. Because I like to, you know, give a little gift to everybody, um, you know, to somebody um, just for participating. Like I said earlier um, in the one video, not... Um, not giving it to the one who lost the most because everyone who's doing this are in so many different stages of their journey that, you know, just to keep it even, you put in the work, you're a winner already. How about it? So, um, 
I'll surprise you guys with what the gift is going to be. So I'm going to hang up now and I'm going to go and I'm going to get myself together and bring it down. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to all my new subscribers. Welcome aboard. And all my old ones, I love your support. And all your kind words that you guys put down there, it really means a lot to me. And, you know, I think that's important that when we reach out to people and let them know um, how the video made them feel or what they think of it, you know, hey, hello, whatever showing that you are supporting in some kind of way. I like to do that to every video that I watch. Um, I know it's not possible with every one of them because we, we get so many, we have so many out there. Um, so you can't do much but give a like sometimes. But um, you know, the people that we communicate with and you know the, the group there, say hello sometimes. Let me know you're out there. I'll talk to you later. Have a good Friday night. Bye.